I want you to set up a meeting with Sorrell. So far, Sorrell has stayed clear of Juan and Emily. Yeah, well, that could change if he thinks the FBI's got me too intimidated to act. Sorrell's got to know the mistake he made going near Juan. Yes, he does. I'll put a tail on him as soon as possible, make sure he doesn't breathe with help. Hi. Hey. Well, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I guess it's your lucky day. Am I, uh, interrupting something? I know you and Jason are really busy. I didn't mean to intrude. No, 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 no. We're finished, actually. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Jason, um, you know about the opera tickets, right? Carly gave us box seats to Carmen. Only Carly would think of an opera where the gypsy gets stabbed and dies. <laughs> in a peace offering. Anyways, I have a feeling you put her up to the whole thing. I hope you, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Is he ever gonna feel comfortable around me again? He, 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 that's the way he is when he's working. Don't take it personally. Let's just hope that those opera tickets from Carly are a good sign. You know what? You worry too much. Come on, life's good, right? Relax, enjoy it. <laughs> Is there another way into the database? Yes, that's what I'm trying to find out. Jason, mm -hmm. guess what? Juan's allowed to stay in Port Charles. I'll right, if you just convince the quarter means. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. We're going to need it. I think it's a good idea having the kids stay here. No, I don't. I mean, if I'd gotten Sorrell out of the way Forget the first Sorrell. time. Forget Sorrell. Okay. Anyway, the gun. I, the, the, the purchase point is all convoluted. It's like, it's almost as if somebody's trying to make it impossible to trace this weapon. I want you to stay on it. I, uh, yes, I will. And yes, you sir. report to me. No one else. I understand. Are you waiting for Sunny? I just left Sunny at the penthouse, and he didn't mention anything about meeting you and Benny. He's not. No, Mr. Morgan and I often handle day-to-day -day accounting details for the warehouse. Oh, I was just afraid that he had forgotten something. He gets really upset with himself when that happens. Uh -huh. Juan's father came by, and it distracted him. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. Uh... <clears throat> Sonny didn't forget anything. How about dropping by for uh, coffee and dessert later? Yeah, sure. Great. Perfect. I'm sorry for interrupting your meeting. Mm. I just really want us to be friends again. Yeah. See you tonight. Okay. So anyway, the, the gun. Um, it might be better if you, you know, tell me where you got it. Benny, where I got the gun does not matter. I need to know where it came from. Sorrell's having some kind of meeting with Jerry Jacks. I right, pick Sorrell up and bring him to Sonny's penthouse. I'll meet you there. It's a preemptive strike. Carly said she might swing by this afternoon, so maybe you ought to get out of here while you still can. I love my daughter, but I'm not blind to her ulterior motives and these delusions that she's built up about Hannah. They're just her way of getting you to notice her. I hope you realize. I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, it's, it's okay. I know how it is to run a business. Uh, look, I, I really need to go, but I just, I just wanted to thank you for uh, the coffee and really just for caring and for trying to warn me when you think I'm heading for trouble. It, it, it gets hard to know sometimes what's the right thing to do. The lines aren't always as clean as they used to be. Yeah, uh, you know, with my daughter, the lines are never clean. And I know your first instinct is always going to be 
to help Carly and to try and rescue her, but I hope you'll look out for yourself, too. Yeah, you know, I, I finally figured out that Carly's not going to go away. <laughs> which is okay, you know, for, for all the trouble that she's given me. I think she's really helped me. So it kind of evens out in the end. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Thank you. <clears throat> Benny sent over some papers for you to look at. Those are cost estimates for some shipments Carlos wants us to move. I'll look over it later. What's up with Sorrell? Francis is on his way over with him. Uh-huh. Now, look, Sonny, I know that we don't need trouble right. right now, especially with the feds keeping us under a microscope, but if we could arrange to have this guy leave town on a permanent basis, I'd feel a lot better. So would I, but uh, running a territory means knowing when not to act, and I think right now we should coexist with Sorrell, get the feds off our back, and we'll deal with this jerk later. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Bring him up. There we go. Okay. So how do you finally want to handle him? Uh, let me do the talking. If he doesn't uh, listen to reason, we'll just... Remember, now there is a good chance that Sorrell will run into one again. Once staying here, his father came to see me. And I, 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 I gave Mr. Santiago my word. I don't want anything to do with him. Well, isn't Juan the one who should be making that promise? If the kid won't listen, that's not your fault. I already told him, you know, I don't want any part of him. The kid's stubborn. Now, if he approaches any of our men, I want to hear about it. Sure. And maybe, you know, you can keep an eye on him. He hates me. I, I'm not asking you to be nice. I'm just, maybe you can, you know, try to keep him out of trouble. Huh? I don't want to see him get hurt again. Yeah. <clears throat> Francis is here with Sorrell. He's been frisked. Last time we met, I made it clear I didn't want to hear from you again. And instead of abiding by my wishes, you nearly killed someone close to me. How do I deal with that kind of disrespect? I meant no disrespect. The boy was dishonest. You would have done the same. My intent was to teach him a lesson, and I uh, went a little overboard, which I regret. I wish I had it to do over again. I swear. You beat a kid within an inch of his life. Maybe, maybe, um, we should do the same to you. Would that be fair? That might be misinterpreted by Mr. Moreno. <laughs> Cause an escalation of tension. <laughs> Before, I didn't get that this kid meant anything to you. Now that I know that he's under your protection, I will respect that. If anything happens to Juan Santiago or Emily Quartermain, if they see you, hear from you, so much as fall off their bikes and skin their knees, I will not worry about an escalation of tension because you know what I'll do? I'll just eliminate the problem. Do we understand each other? I just didn't know who they were. Uh -huh. Mr. Moreno and I both regret the misunderstanding. In fact, he would welcome an opportunity to work closer with you. If that is a possibility in the near future, I'd be glad to do whatever I can to facilitate a meeting. Johnny! Show Mr. Sorrell out, will you? <clears throat> Again. I apologize for the misunderstanding. Mm. He's gonna be a problem. 
He's too confident of his influence with Marino. Yeah, sounds to me he's gonna make a move on Marino. Eventually, and I, I'm... I'm thinking this one's gonna be even worse. You going back to the warehouse? Yeah. All right, I got those custom documents that you wanted. And... Oh, we have some fun at the opera tonight, huh? Uh, actually, I'm not going. I agreed to have uh, Hannah and Mike cook me dinner. Promises to be even more painful. What's your good news? My day has gone from bad to worse, and it's not over yet. You know what? I, I, had, uh, I had opera tickets. What? Yeah, two. Two opera tickets. Jason, where? I don't know, man. I had box seats. And... Where did you get these? You saved my life. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. You have no idea what I was gonna have to do to cover giving these away. How'd you get them back? I asked for them. It was very cool of you. Thank you. Especially after Bobby gave you that whole beware of Carly speech. Hmm. You know, I, th I think it's nice that Bobby tries to warn me. Do you really need somebody to warn you to stay away from me? Definitely. <laughs> um. <laughs> Although it's not doing me much good here. You know what? Come on, now. If you had stayed away from me this time, you wouldn't know that I was right about Hannah all along. Um, I owe you for the warning about Hannah. Okay. What'd you find out about the gun, the trace and all that? Nothing. And that worries me even more. Why? Well, because the harder that gun is to trace, the more likely Hannah is dangerous to Sonny. <laughs>